Hi everyone, I'm William Ling. I'm a product application engineer from WisePass IoT and SRP solution department. Today I'm going to introduce SCADA from HSI to WisePass and its connection setting. How can we help customers to bring their data onto the cloud? Here is WebSS and WisePass SCADA architecture. The button side is WisePass SCADA, which collects data from edge devices to RabbitMQ by MQTT protocol. Above RabbitMQ is SCADA Data Worker. It will subscribe the data from RabbitMQ and restore this data in customer's PostgreSQL or MongoDB. At the right side is SCADA Portal. It can help customers to manage their user accounts and their applications. Here are some essential links in WisePass. The first is WisePass Technical Portal. WisePass User Guide and API Usage Guide can be downloaded here. The next one is the WisePass Single Sign-On Portal. Please sign in at this site. The third one is WisePass Management Portal. Organization Management, Space Management, and User Account Management can be done here. The last ones are WisePass Scala Portal and WisePass Dashboard Portal. Note that the URL naming might be different based on your organization name and your space name. Please configure your project nodes and Scala nodes at Scala Portal and design your panel at Dashboard Portal. To sign in WisePass, you need to have a tenant account. If you are not able to get a tenant account, please contact your local Advantage sales representatives. By the first time you sign in, you need to update your tenant account. Please update your user information and your new password at this page. After you sign in, create space and organization at the first time. The concept of organization and space are different. An organization is a development account that individual or multiple collaborators can use. Each organization contains at least one space. Every application and service is scoped to a space. Space provides user permission to access a shared location for application development. In this figure, for example, we have two different organizations, and each of them contains two different spaces, and each space contains different application and database. The users in WisePass portal can be divided into two types. One is tenant. Tenant creates space and sets space quota within an organization. Tenant also creates develop users under a certain space. Tenant can develop and manage applications and service in all space. The other type is developer. Developer only can develop and manage applications and service in a specific space. Each organization has only one tenant and each space can have several developers. In WisePass, you may have one or several projects. Each project contains at least one Scala node. A Scala node contains at least one device node, and there will be several tags within a device. Devices and tags can be uploaded. Device and tags can be automatically created in WisePass platform when user configure the WisePass connection setting and download a project in WisePass SCADA. Here are five steps when using WisePass SCADA portal. The first step is to sign in in WisePass SCADA portal. After you sign in, you can create a new project and a new SCADA node. Then go back to WebSS SCADA at edge site. Configure the WisePass connection setting and whitelist setting. Download your project and start the kernel. The next step is go back to WisePass SCADA portal and to check if devices and text had been uploaded from the edge site.
If both tag list and device list are shown correctly, we can design the panel in WisePass dashboard. Here is WisePass technical portal. Click sign in, you will be direct to WisePass single sign on portal. And please type your username and password here and sign in. After you sign in, you can access your organization space and space. Select one space and you will get the application list. Select the application list and select portal SCADA and you will find a URL to access your SCADA portal. Let's describe these steps in detail. For steps one and two, we need to go to WiseBus SCADA portal. Please type your username and password in your WisePass SCADA portal first. And then select Device Management. And click Add New Project to create a new project. Enter your project ID and then click Submit. A new project will be created. And click your project node to add a SCADA node. Click Add New SCADA button to create a new SCADA node. Enter SCADA name. Note that the SCADA node name should be unique. After you create a SCADA node, you will get several items. One is your SCADA name. One is your SCADA ID. And a credential key. And an API URL. These items are essential to be filled in in WebSS web SCADA. If you forget this information, you can click Detail. It will show this information. Step 3 is go to WebSS SCADA setting. Open your project homepage and create a new project. Give it a name and an IP address. After you create a project, you can create a new SCADA node. Give it a name and its IP address too. Then go to WisePass connection settings in node property. Paste the SCADA ID, the DCCS API URL, and credential key from WisePass SCADA portal. Then go to node property in SCADA node and select constant point and click add constant point and create a new tag point. After we have a tag, go to node property again and select white pass whitelist. Select constant point node type, then select text and click the tag and change the dead band to zero and click save. Then save WisePass whitelist and download the whole project and then restart the kernel. Step 4 is go back to WisePass SCADA portal because SCADA portal supports plug and play. The project node and SCADA node you create in, Wise, in WebSS SCADA will be uploaded to WisePass SCADA list automatically. Also in SCADA list, it will show all the status of all SCADA nodes. Click into one SCADA node. It will be its device list. And the device list will show the status of all the devices. And you can select one of the devices and check the tag list. The tag value and the last update time will be shown. The tag value and the last update time will be shown. The last step is go to WisePass dashboard to design your dashboard panels. Click WisePass dashboard from WebSS Scala website. Also, you can use the URL to log in to your dashboard website too. After we log in, now we have to configure a data source. 
go to configuration, select data source, and click add data source. And then we have to choose the data source type. The data source type depends on the version of your API Scala simple JSON. So go back to your management portal and check the version of your API Scala simple JSON. If the version is greater than 1.0.11 or include 1.0.11, please use the setting in this page. So the setting will be the HTTP URL will be the URL of API Scala Simple JSON. You can check the, the route at management portal. And then access, please choose direct. And then authorization, please choose with credentials. And the last one, Scala API. The Scala API, please use the route of your portal SCADA URL and plus slash API. Note that in HTTP URL and SCADA API URL, you must type HTTPS before your route. And if your API SCADA Simple JSON version is lower than 1.0.10 or 1.0.10, you have to use the setting in this page. The different, the different is the data source type. If your version is lower than 1.0.10, please the data source type choose Scala Simple JSON. And then the HTTP URL will be the URL of your Scala portal. If your API Scala Simple JSON version is lower than or equal to 1.0.10, then please use the setting in this page. Uh, the, the first step and the second step will be the same as the last page. So go to Configuration Data Source and click Add Data Source. But now we have to select the data source type. Please select Scala Simple JSON as your data source type. And then type the URL. The URL of HTTP will be the URL of your API Scala Simple JSON. You can check the URL at, at your management portal. And then assess choose proxy. <coughs> and then after that, click save and test. And if all of your settings are right, it will show data source is working. And to create a new dashboard, click Home and then click New Dashboard. Select a panel to display tag value. In this example, we will use single state. And to bind a tag and its value to single state panel, click Panel Title and then click Edit. Select metrics and select the data source. You need to specify which Scala node, which device, and which tag you want to use, which tag value you want to show on your panel. Add option, choose the status current from value state. Then we can save the dashboard. Click the save icon and enter the file name and then save. Then we can compare the tag value from WisePass SCADA and from WisePass dashboard and we can find the value are identical. If you follow the five steps but the tag does not show in WisePass SCADA tag list or the tag value does not show in WisePass SCADA or WisePass SCADA dashboard. Here is a method to do troubleshooting. The at the first, we have to get an MQTT broker username and password. Select Portal SCADA 1.3.2 in your application list in your space. And then find string MQTT. You will get a username and a password under the port 1883.
then install Eclipse Pi-hole. Download the Pi-holes based on your operation system and then execute it. After you ex execute Eclipse Pi-hole, then we have to add a new MQTT connection. Select Option and then click Enable Login and paste the username and password in pre previous page. And then go to MQTT menu again and copy this server URL and paste it. And then click Connect. And then add a subscription topic. In this example, we use data topic to subscribe. Then we can see the data published from WhiteSpark SCADA broker. We can see the data has been published correctly. Also, you can subscribe different topics. For different topics, you can diagnose different issues. You can find the WhiteSpark SCADA portal user guide at this website for more information. Thank you. This is the end of today's lecture.